And with that, Ryan Ford, real name, and lots of gimmick coming your way here at SGDQ 2021. This any percent glitchless run is coming right up. Uh, oh yeah, oh. Hey, th hey there everyone. Um, I like to just clarify if we're running best ending glitchless because uh, we, we did get information that uh, that incentive was met. The best ending incentive has been met. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Excellent. All right, we're about to That's... watch Ryan Ford run a gimmick here, uh, best ending glitchless. Um, my name's Aquas. I'll be commenta commentating the run. It'll be my pleasure, and we're about to check out uh, one of the best Famicom releases out there called Gimmick, uh, released as Mr. Gimmick in Scandinavia. And uh, it's going to feature a little Kirby-looking like character. His name is Yume Taro. And the gimmick here is he'll be throwing, uh, generating stars off of the horn on his head and throwing those. But um, not only that, but the game has a robust momentum uh, physics system. And Yumitaro will be able to ride these stars to grab uh, treasures throughout the levels. And uh, those treasures are going to allow him to get the true ending for the best ending glitchless. And so I think with that being said, we're going to be able to run into this run. So Ryan, are you ready? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, I'm gonna give you All a right. three, two, one, go, and then on All go, right. we will start. All right, do it up. All right, good luck. Three, two, one, go. Yep. So, uh, like I said, uh, this this run's gonna be pretty fast paced. Uh, this is a short game and very intense uh, with the tricks and stuff. And right away, he's gonna jump up into this top left area and grab one of the secret treasures. Each level has one of them. And that's going to allow him to uh, get the best ending. And that's the best ending glitchless category. And you see him just uh, throw that star up, up, up off that ledge and uh, just rides it right up there. Um, really tough one. And then the first stage introduces you to uh, the momentum with these slopes and, and stuff like that. And he's going to zip on through there and uh, jump through this tube. And just, uh, you'll be seeing him throw these stars against the wall. And uh, just riding it, riding it, taking shortcuts through these levels. And, um... Yeah, it's really, uh, really fast paced. He's going to be done with this level in just a moment here. But uh, throughout this run, uh, a second, uh, secondary objective here is going to be to manage his points. The points are important. The uh, tens and hundreds digits of the points, when those are even and you kill an enemy, you'll get a bomb drop. The odds will give you fireballs. And uh, 000 and uh, 550. Yeah, those give uh, potion items. So the, the idea here is uh, he's going to get three bombs and he's going to set up for uh, a quick boss kill in stage three. We're in stage two, and he's about to do uh, some crucial tricks. And uh, first, he's going to use one of these bombs that he got to uh, jump on a cannonball to skip the platform onto the ship. That saves about 20 seconds. And he's going to try to ride this cannonball and throw another bomb. Rides it and gets it. All right, that's the, yes, that's the most crucial uh, time save probably in this run, and I'm glad he got it. So now Ryan can breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> yep, because if you miss oh. that, you take that slow boat ride again, and then you're down in items and that type of thing. So we're, it's just great that he's doing that, and he's still on a great, he's still on a great pace here, and he's going to take some st more star rides here into the boss, who's like a pirate chicken nugget guy. <laughs> and, uh, and he's going to push him off and uh, and hit him off, and he wants to jump down at the same time because uh, his uh, Yumitaro's death there in the water is going to cancel the score from counting for an additional, like, 10 seconds. So he got the quick kill there. Very nice. Moving on to stage three, in which uh, he's going to want three bombs uh, stocked up for the quick boss kill. The bombs are the only thing that's going to be able to take out this boss quickly. And uh, he uses one bomb to destroy that enemy to go to the secret area. Kidding. Grabs that oh, crystal ball. Be Oops, so yeah, so um, how you use the bomb is uh, up and B. Oh no! <laughs> you made Tyro down. This is the waterfall. It gets, a, gets a fairly decent checkpoint here. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, we'll be down on bombs oh. though. Um, so if you have three bombs, you save, I don't know, 12, 15 seconds. But uh, now he's going for uh, one of the newer tricks of this game, uh, which is a manipulation of the star to make it bounce backwards, and then you jump into the ceiling, a missing ceiling tile, which allows you to actually die in that water 
that is on this screen, and that gets a checkpoint death warp. So that's one of the newer tricks of this game, and uh, that's very cool. We got to show that off. Very nice. Yeah, if you get it first try, it saves about 10 seconds over uh, uh, going through the cave. Yeah, that one's tricky. That's a very specific uh, positioning subpixel, actually. Yep. Subpixel yeah. position, frame perfect, star room. And then, like, a two frame window to jump, like, as soon as you land. So it's uh, fairly difficult yeah, to, so. to get first try. So takes down that snail there with the uh, stars. You gotta wait for him to uh, get to that kind of up the slope to actually hit him with the stars, and that's what we were talking about, the point manipulation. So he'll still continue to mani manipulate the points here and uh, destroy some enemies to get some more items. He's gonna want a fireball to get a quick kill on the mid-boss of the stage, and then uh, some more items for uh, the boss in the next stage and the final stage. So he's kind of, you know, he's got his route here, and uh, it's, you know, it's pretty consistent because he's just kind of be destroying certain enemies. And he's, getting, he's generally going to know where his score is going to be. Um, and then you can also manipulate your score by jumping on the star or uh, grinding, is what we call it. Like, kind of running against the star as it's traveling. And they actually had probably seen him do that a couple times, but I didn't point it out. Now he's going for uh, one of the, uh, <clears throat> one of the kind of the harder uh, timings to do a star ride here to uh, kind of come up with this little shortcut <laughs> but at this point oh uh God. probably best to have gone the other way <laughs> he's I gonna know. get it though he's gonna get it there it is <laughs> i have to show it off anyway <laughs> you have to i mean it's it's one of the key uh the key star rides there but yeah, yeah it's sometimes I mean, that's a run killer too mm -hmm. like just missing it like five or six times in a row that's a really specific because like uh how you manipulate the star's momentum is based off how fast Yumi Taro's falling and then if you're moving left or right as well. So he's got to kind of do both of those things. And there's the fireball to take down the mid-boss. Uh-oh, falls down. Dude, you gotta do the backup. I believe he, yes, I believe he can do it. So he fell down there. That was a shortcut to go to the uh, next uh, the next section where the next item is to complete the game proper. But it's now it's important to uh, either Oh takes a star right up here, or um, I think the other option here is a game over. Uh, or no, oh, you can die and then you can oh, try again. Death, right? There you go, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, best thing it's not over. If, if you fail that, you can still get up, thankfully. Um, but yes, the item is in this room. And let's see if you can pull some little acrobatics here. Nice, gets back. He doesn't get the last part, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a really tough screen. Choking a little, but... Yeah, as long as, like, uh, yeah, if you hadn't done that, you'd have to take a death and then, I think, try again. Because they give you a checkpoint once you fall down there. That's, like, the other thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, yeah, I'd have to, like, kill the guys again and, like, like respawn them by dying and then, like, try again and kill them. Yeah, but we're still or, on uh, track. Still on track here. Them. It's in the past. All right, so he does a nice little tricky uh, ride there, and he wants to get up, up on this top part to uh, activate a lever that's going to re um, remove some water in a pit upcoming, and that's going to bring us to this stage's secret area. Allow us to get the treasure here. So he's hit the switch, and uh, he's going to continue to uh, kind of manipulate these points a little bit to get a couple more kill another item. Yeah, he's got two fireballs and bombs, so now he's set. And uh, at this point, we're on a minecart ride that's kind of an auto-scroller. Donations are okay. Go ahead. Or not. Lego, you there? I am. All right, we're pretty much through the minecart at this point. Um, we'll be going to kind of the next technical section. D boost there, and then yeah, there's the pit. I played that a little safe, but these conveyor belts are slower. kind of uh, nasty because uh, if you jump off the very edge of them, there's a chance Yumi Taro goes airborne. When you're airborne, you can't jump, um, so it's very easy to trip on the edges of those. So I like that uh, Ryan actually didn't go to the edges on most of those. <laughs> Uh, exactly. it, it happens all the time, and uh, it's just not fun because you just die and lose a bunch of time. And in a game like this, it's pretty optimized, so like you really don't want that kind of time lost. 
start looking good there. Yeah, so timing the star throws there on the first phase of the boss. Pretty tricky timing. Uh, gets it though, and then go for just a quick kill on the Spider Mac here. And nice. Not even uh, not even one hit there. Very good. Yeah, so yeah, so using an audio cue when I threw the bomb uh, to uh, get an early hit on the second phase. All right, so we come to the final stage. Um, this one has uh, some 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 moments. Uh, notably, when you die in the stage, you you come back quite a bit after this mid boss. So on this mid boss, I'm trying to throw an item immediately to get hit, and then these fireballs are going to come in handy if they pierce through these uh, armored gerbils or shield and mace gerbils or whatever <laughs> you want to call them. <laughs> They're cute, cute little jerks. <laughs> what I call them. <laughs> But yeah, those, that's where those fireballs come into play, so you get a nice quick kill there. Otherwise, those guys are actually pretty tough to take out. And uh, yeah, so some tricky platforming here. Lots of spikes and conveyor belts and all, all your NES staples in, in one little stage here. <laughs> the gears. <laughs> nice. Get, grabs that bomb there in the gear room. Really uh, tricky timing there. You gotta jump. You gotta have a small jump, because you do have the variable jumps in this game. Then he comes up here, uh, rides a star through that tube, comes on down with the star into this bonus room. That's the final treasure. Now he's got all the treasures, and uh, as long as he completes this stage without game overing, um, that will qualify the final stage in which uh, you can get the best ending. Ooh! No idea. What was wrong there? Ah, uh, falls off the right edge of the star. Ouch, so yeah. Then you get a fairly punishing death here coming back. So yeah, that star exactly. ride, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was going for. Um, you want to go for that because it saves a lot of time. But uh, the, yeah, the slow way is just not entertaining speed. at all, and uh, so you just we basically have to go for that. So he's gonna try again here once he gets back. Yeah, I like missed by a pixel or something. Like that was so so janky. All right, take two. I think I think you'll get it this time. Through the start too early, I think. It's probably the, one of the things I practice the most, and I still fail it often in runs, too. See, and uh, yeah. since I had full inventory go. as well, I had to like make sure not to get blocked by the potion. Very nice, very nice. Okay, get stir. Now they got the three wizard fights. Uh, first one, kind of random. Um, uh, when you uh, have a star that's off screen, you'll dive it at Ryan here, and that's what he was trying to manipulate him to get into. Then uh, the second one, you can manipulate pretty good. Just got to throw that bomb immediately. Takes out the second one cleanly. Very nice. And then the third one, also pretty random, but he's got some uh, bombs here. I think he might use a couple of them to get some extra hits. Here we go. First hit. Oh, two hit opener. Very nice. That's, that's super good. And then, uh, this guy is yeah. such oh. a tease. Oh, my oh God. man. Nice. One more hit. You know how much... When him. I was grinding yesterday, nice. like, I got so much cursed RNG from this guy, and he gives me, like, one of the luckiest fights I've had. Yeah, that was an excellent time. wizard tree. Great job. <laughs> I lost, Great like, job. at least eight or nine PB attempts yesterday because, like, I got so unlucky with that fight. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah like, basically in that fight, like, you have to kind of get that damage started because once you let him free and he's he'll be flying up on the top of the screen and then you gotta um, get bubbled by his bubble attacks which force him to swoop down but uh, even then exactly. you might not be able to get it because the bubbles uh, restrict your star generation so it yeah, was a very nice kill really. it's like you want to have a star bouncing around before you get caught by a bubble so that you can um, kite him into your stars to get hits and, he get, and I got like two double hits so it's actually wild that was excellent. I mean, that doesn't happen too often. <laughs> and the final stage here, it's got a little bit of tech, uh, mostly relaxing with a very awesome music. Yeah, I love this song. One of the probably so one of the best songs peaceful. in the game. And we'll come to the final boss, um, who we didn't really talk about the story of the game, but he's basically like what I think is an action figure in the girl's toy box. We're trying to rescue a girl who was kidnapped by these toys that were jealous because uh, Yume Taro was a new, a new toy that she treasured more than the other ones. I think RNG, actually, please! But anyways, uh, yep, so we got some good RNG in the spawns in this guy. Uh, first phase, you want him on the right when you take when you get him second phase, and now he's gonna just try to trap him in the corner before the finish. Uh, 
Uh, uh, oh, that was a little close. <laughs> time comes time. when the screen transitions. <laughs> oh, wait, not time yet. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's when the screen goes black. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was that was the run. Yeah, not bad, man. That was that was pretty damn good, I say. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely some mistakes, but like, I'm glad I didn't have to reset in level two because. Yep. Uh, if I failed, like, any of those tricks in level 2, like, it's probably faster to reset. Like, even in a marathon. So, yeah. Yeah, well done, yeah. well done. Like, you can play that, uh, that middle cannonball, or the cannonball ride to the treasure a little safer by pushing down the cannon. But, like, yeah. none of us do that. Like, we just, we're just too <laughs> stubborn to do that. <laughs> Which exactly. see, takes Since an extra I, five or six seconds. Since I had enough speed to get there, um... Instead of like pushing the cannon a small amount to save some frames, I just went for like the the audio cue without pushing it, so that I wouldn't like have to uh, jump off the level or anything. So I played it like slightly safe. Yeah, well done. Well, I think I can get our parting words in here. Thanks everyone for checking out Gimmick, and uh, do stick around for an excellent game coming up next. And thanks everyone. <laughs> Indeed. Job, so Ryan. again, um. Yeah, so first off, I'll just say thank, thanks again, Aquas, for, um, yeah, agreeing to commentate and help me out here. Helps a lot. And, um, yeah, everybody, thanks for getting your donations in for, uh, so that we can, uh, show off this category again. Like, I'm not sure how long it's been since the last time that, uh, this game's been run at a GDQ. 2018? Or was it later than that? It's been a while, but all I have to say is Gimmick 2021. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Everybody, also, if there's an exclamation point donate command, you should probably type that and uh, keep getting your donations in as well. And yeah, I'll definitely be hanging out in the chat since I'm actually subbed this time, so <laughs> I'll definitely hang out in there. So I'll see you all on the other side. Bye-bye. The Fangamer is a video game merch company and they have brand new SGDQ 2021 merchandise available now. There's an event badge, limited edition pin, water bottle, joggers, and so much more. And the best part, 100% of profits from GDQ merch sales go to support Médecins Sans Frontières or Doctors Without Borders. Uh, head on over to fangamer.com slash GDQ to see the full lineup um, and uh, get your choice of sweet, sweet swag.